So I'm just going to do another meshing demonstration using the Dyson platform. So I've just logged into Dyson website and first thing is to create a new project. So put in your project name and I'll select the visibility internal and create project and then create um, a meshing application. So that's just loading up the, the meshing GUI. And so you've got the, the, the steps on the left hand side that you need to work through. And then what you should see first of all is background mesh in the main window. So that's all good. Graphics is working fine. So the first thing is to upload the geometry. So I've got an STL file already. Um, an F-22 aircraft STL file. So that's just loading that up and that changes the size of the background mesh. So there's our aircraft. So first thing is to go to background mesh. I want to change these settings. So I'm going to change the size of the background mesh, which is basically the flow domain. So I know roughly what size I want. So it's going to be quite a large domain that needs to be to accommodate this aircraft. And then in terms of the cell sizes, I just need to put in 10, 10, 10. So that's the size of the the background mesh size. So then I should be able to view um, the background mesh. It's going to change the view. And change it to parallel. <coughs> Get rid of that. So there's our aircraft and there's the background mesh. So it is very large, but it needs to be because this is a far field boundary. So next uh, material point, I can change that if I want to something, something else, but that just needs to be outside the aircraft. The edge refinement, I have ran through this before, so I know roughly what values I want, but the edge refinement in this case, because I don't want a massive mesh, I'm just going to select seven. So that's the background mesh is level zero so that means seven levels of refinement will be applied to the to the edges and this one i'm going to select five and seven for the surface refinement and <clears throat> volume refinement i don't want any volume regions in this case the boundary layers, I'm going to leave the boundary layers off in this case because I want to keep the mesh size relatively low. And cell zones, I don't want any, I don't want to have any cell zone refinement. The one thing I do need to change is in the advanced options. So, um, refinement, this value is cells between levels. I'm going to put this quite high, up to eight. And then go to run. So change machines. I might select um, a quicker machine in order to get it to mesh quicker. And then run. So I'll come back to this in a few minutes when it's finished meshing. Okay, so that's just finished meshing. And so we can see the, the meshing output. And it shows us that we've got... Um, just under a million cells there. And we can go across here and look at check mesh. So there's some skew faces, which will probably be okay, but it's worth bearing in mind. 
So then we can go to have a look at the actual mesh itself. <clears throat> so this is showing the background mesh. So um, first of all, I want to switch off the internal mesh and switch on patch zero, which is our aircraft. Zoom in on that. Oop. Just manipulate it a bit so we can have a look at the surface there. This might work better in parallel mode. Just zoom in again. So you can see that is the surface mesh of the aircraft. And it actually looks fairly uniform, but I think that's because we've got such a, a, a large number of cells between levels. So there's only a few areas where you can actually see coarser mesh on the aircraft. But that's okay, that looks all right. So the next thing to do is, well, I mean, you can notice that the leading edges, edges of the wings are um, way too coarse. Um, could do with a bit of extra refinement on there. Um, so next thing, I'm going to switch that off. Um, click on the internal mesh and select the cut plane. So I'm just going to go down here and do Z normal. And click apply, and so then I should be able to change the view. Let's get rid of that. Just select said normal again. apply that. So that is a cut plane and we can look at the mesh in the, the entire volume there. So um, what I want to do is select surface with edges and I want to select choose a different colour. So then as soon as I go out of that slice then I can see um, see the volume mesh. So you can see we've got quite a lot of mesh around the aircraft. And if I want to I can go back and, and switch on the aircraft surface. Um, so if I click on that I can take the mesh off of that one and I can change it to a different colour. And then if I move out of that, so then we've, that's our aircraft with, um, with a mesh around it. So that is, potentially, that is ready for um, generating a flow solution.